Here are 10 ways you can make your small space feel so much bigger. Hey everyone, it's Christina from the DIYMommy.com. There's something that I love so much about decorating smaller spaces. I think that's why I love renovating RVs so much is because they're the tiniest little space and it is such a fantastic challenge to try to make that small, cramped feeling space feel so much bigger and more welcoming. I feel like it's a while since we've talked about some home decor basics here on the channel, so that's what I wanna to do today. There are a lot of ways to make a smaller space feel so much bigger, and I'm gonna share 10 of those tips with you today. So let's get started. Tip number one to make a small space feel bigger is to use lighter, cooler colors, especially on your wall. You guys probably know that I'm a huge fan of painting walls white or a shade of white, but if you don't like white, think about other colors you could use, like a light, soft gray, like light blues. Lighter colors, as well as cooler colors, like anything in the blue or green family, are gonna make your space feel a lot more open and airy. Take, for example, the couple of RV renovations that I've done. Originally, these RVs had darker colors in them, so darker wood tones, and all, even slightly darker colors on the wall, and I painted everything white and soft pastel shades, and I feel like that made both of these spaces look so much bigger. What do you guys think? I've also done this in a couple of our bedrooms, in my daughter's bedroom and also in our own bedroom where the originals had kind of a mid-tone shade of gray and I painted one of them white and the other one a really light shade of gray, almost white, and I feel like that made these spaces look at least 25% bigger than they looked before. Tip number two, which is the easiest tip that I think any of us can do as long as we get that self-motivation is to declutter. This is a hard one for me because I love little knickknacks and doodads and sentimental items, but I think that is a really easy and quick way to make any room feel bigger. Go through absolutely everything. If you haven't used it in the past year, if you haven't looked at it and enjoyed it in the past year, it might be time to go ahead and donate that item. You probably know that I love Cass at Clutterbug. She has a fantastic YouTube channel that goes into all sorts of ideas on how to declutter and organize your home. I'll leave a link to her channel somewhere up here and down in that description box below. Tip number three is using mirrors. I've been using more and more mirrors in my home decor lately. I recently bought a big round mirror at Ikea and I put that in our breakfast nook and I feel like reflecting light is gonna instantly make your space feel larger. I added a mirror in our entryway where there was nothing before and that too made such a huge difference in our space to make it feel bigger. There's mirrors for seriously every style of home decor whether you are more modern in your decor or more traditional. You can go for a more ornate traditional mirror if you like or just a modern simple round mirror. There are a ton of options. I've I've even seen a collection of mirrors on a wall, kind of like a mirror gallery wall, and I think that looks so fantastic. My fourth tip to make any room feel larger, this is an easy one, it's instant, is to hang your drapes higher. I've said this in a few videos, <laughs> Like I'm super passionate about this one. I feel like a lot of people hang their drapes too low, like right on the top of the window. And if you could just move that curtain rod up a few inches, so it's, you know, maybe six inches from your ceiling, even four inches, that's gonna instantly make your ceilings feel taller and therefore make your whole room feel bigger. Just try it and you'll see what I mean. Tip number five is all about the scale of furniture. So there's a couple ways you can play this. First of all, if you have a really small space, make sure that the furniture you're buying fits the space. If you want to put, you know, kind of the normal amount of furniture in the space, you're gonna to wanna to look for smaller scale pieces, smaller round tables, smaller scale chairs. Just make sure you have your measuring tape along with you when you're shopping for furniture or you're looking online. Make sure you look at all the measurements and see how that's gonna look in your space. Conversely, the other way that you can do this is don't use as much furniture, but use 
larger scale pieces but less of them and that can work really well in a small space too because it's more of a minimal look tip number six is the use of vertical lines in your home decor so we talked about hanging those drapes closer to the ceiling that's a vertical line that's going to make your ceilings feel taller you can also add vertical lines in your home decor by doing DIY board and batten look that I've done in my living room in the past. My mom has a DIY board and batten that goes right from the ceiling to the floor and that really makes a room feel bigger and more expansive. You could use vertical lines in wallpaper. You could use it by putting a floor lamp that just adds that nice line and it kind of brings the eye up. Think about how you can use lines in your decor to make your space feel taller and a little more expansive. Tip number seven to make your space feel bigger is try using using multifunctional furniture. So a piece of furniture that can do two jobs in one. That way you don't have to have as much furniture in your space and you won't have that cluttered feeling in your small room. For example, look for a coffee table that also has storage underneath it. We did that DIY bench in our breakfast nook with the storage underneath. Hidden storage in pieces is extremely helpful when you have kids or pets. So you could do that in ottomans as well. Look for nightstands with drawers in them and things like that. Tip number eight is to use an analogous or a monochromatic color scheme when you're decorating. Now I think it was two years ago I did a whole color theories video and I talked about the analogous color scheme and the monochromatic. So monochromatic is just basically using one color throughout your whole space. That doesn't have to be just the one shade of the color, it can be multiple shades of that color. I like more of a monochromatic look in our bedroom. So the walls kind of are a soft light gray and then the bedding is white. So I only really have soft shades of gray to kind of a really, really light, light grayish white. And it's mostly monochromatic, it makes the room feel bigger. And I also feel like a monochromatic look can make a room feel a little bit more restful. That's why I choose to use it for our master bedroom, even though I'm a huge lover of color. If you're going to do this, just make sure you add lots of textures in your room to make it feel a little bit more warm and inviting. An analogous color scheme is when you use colors beside each other on the color wheel. I'll make sure to link my color wheel free printable down in that description box below. So you're using blue and green together, or maybe you're using shades of red and orange together. Choosing colors next to each other on the color wheel rather than the ones that are opposite is going to create a little bit more of a calming, more open feeling in your space. Tip number nine to create a larger feeling space is to make sure that you leave what's called white space in your decorating. Again, this is a personal issue that I have and I'm working on it and I know this is a fact. I tend to want to fill up every little nook and cranny in my room with knickknacks and doodads. This kind of relates to that clutter point that I was talking about. Make sure you leave places in your home, whether it's on the wall, on top of a sideboard, wherever, that there's nothing, that it's just white blank space. And those little pockets of open space are gonna instantly make your room feel a lot bigger than it is. And my final tip, tip number 10, is to make sure that you introduce as much light as possible into your space. If you can introduce natural light, that's definitely the best. If you can, you know, Make sure that your windows are open and bright. The drapes clear the entire window from side to side and let in all the light you can. That's gonna be fantastic. If you don't have a ton of natural light in your space, make sure to add lots of other lighting. So an overhead light as well as a side lamp, a floor lamp, anything that can add extra warmth and glow to your space is gonna make it feel instantly brighter and bigger. So those are my 10 tips on how to make your small space feel larger. I hope you guys enjoyed them. Let me know down in the comments below if you agree with these ideas, which one you think is best. And if you have any other tips to make your smaller space feel larger, I would love to know down in those comments below. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Let me know if you want more decor basic videos like this. I'd be happy to share them with you guys. And if you like this video, please subscribe to my channel for more DIY and decor ideas on a budget and I'm going to leave some more videos that I hope you will love and watch next right up here.